Welcome back. Uh, now we're going to be going to Australia. Um, my Australian collection is uh, very uh, poor at the moment, uh, so we're probably going to be probably doing half uh, Australia, well not half Australia, but Australia and half Europe. So let's get on it. So the first coin is Australia, and this is a silver coin from 1952. And uh, this is a silver coin, uh, one florin. Uh, another silver coin. I believe this is a three pence coin. Uh, three pence coin. Some more Australia. Uh, this is a silver coin from 1966. Uh, one cent. And these are not silver, uh, so you can kind of. And this is another one that is also not silver. And so you can kind of see all three of them. Uh, what it used to look like, as you can see, was a uh, circle. And it was kind of like a tinted, like a reddish kind of look. And then went back to like a silver kind of look, but with those same uh, uh, corners. <clears throat> so a $2 coin from Australia. And now we're on to Fiji. This is a silver coin, uh, Florin, 1943. Another Fiji coin. It says uh, grow more food on it. I don't know if you can see that clearly. There you go. So grow more food. Another Fiji coin. Uh, French Polynesia. Not quite sure how to properly pronounce that. I think it's Polynesia. And then on to New Zealand. <clears throat> 1946 silver coin. And also silver, one shilling. New Zealand. Uh, Papua New Guinea. I'm not even sure if I pronounced that right either. Forgive me if there's anybody watching from Papua New Guinea. Samoa. And Tonga. And then from there, we move on to Europe. I do segregate them, uh, of course, by continent. Uh, so before I uh, do any continent uh, coins, I do have a uh, map of the continent that I have the coins from. <coughs> so we start with Albania. And then Austria. Uh, Ballywick, Ballywick of Jersey. Belgium. Bulgaria. All in all, this took me, uh, for all these coins, it took me a few years to collect. Uh, it was on and off collecting these coins. Uh, there's been times where I would be deeply into trying to collect coins. So I would go to uh, stores and uh, just ask if they had any uh, foreign currency that they uh, possibly had and I would try to buy it off them. Some stores were uh, helpful. Uh, they would give it to me for free. Other stores would uh, charge me for it. Uh, there was a Chinese store that gave me maybe two liters. Uh, they had all these uh, foreign coins in a two liter a uh, bottle of pop. There wasn't any pop in it, of course. Uh, but they sold that to me for $2, so... <clears throat> uh, Euro is not a country. Uh, I just had no idea where these countries are. Uh, Euro is a... Uh, uh, coins that are used in a lot of countries in Europe at the moment, so... France, Germany. I do have uh, some <clears throat> coins from Nazi Germany. Um, so I, I like collecting those coins as well. Uh, it has a very big historic sense to me. So I think we're approaching it now. So this is. Uh, 
This one here is made of zinc. It's kind of hard to see. I, I don't know the year on it. I can't make out the year. And uh, this one's silver from 1936. Uh, it's uh, five uh, Reich marks. And I think we'll end it here for now. And uh, I'll do the other half uh, pretty shortly. Thanks for watching.